today at about uh, 11, 11 o'clock uh, and told that there was a fire in school. Uh, nobody knows the cause of the fire and uh, I, I came to school. I was called when I was going to church. So the first thing I did was to ask whether the children are safe and uh, they were all safe because the boys and girls were actually taking tea in the dining hall and preparing to go for a church service. And uh, I confirmed with the teachers on duty, uh, who happened to be the dean of academics, that uh, everyone was safe and nobody was in the dorms. So that's when they saw fire coming out and they started shouting fire, fire. And when they went there, they realized they could not enter because the fire was too aggressive. So that's when we called the, the ambulance, I mean the city council, uh, fire brigade uh, who responded and of course after people got to know we also have parents who work in these offices the people sent uh, the, the, the fire brigade and the, we have managed to put off the fire and we are all safe yeah we do not have any information right now and we cannot be able to speculate because uh, we don't know what could have happened. We have not had any electric fault in the building. We don't have any work that goes on in that building that is of uh, a nature that could be, say, cooking and all that. We don't have all that. So it's basically something we are not able to tell. And the students in terms of numbers, borders, yeah. Lambao, no, uh, the scholars? Uh, the only borders we have in this school are grade 7 and grade 8 uh, because obviously we have to keep them here in order to be able to prepare well for the exam so they are just about 300 uh, and the ratio I may not be able to tell but it's like uh, almost an equivalent boys and girls are almost the same the girls could be a bit higher 
maybe by 20 and the boys by maybe about one 170 and 130 ratio mm -hmm. yeah now how to if you about me to go about the first thing I did was uh, of course we tried to put off the fire because we have ensured that we have our fire equipment ready we we, are, we always have the fire extinguishers uh, but of course they could not do anything lakini vile tulifanya we have called all the parents and parents came actually most of the parents came we spoke to them and we told them to bear with us for today pick the boys and girls go home with them and uh, it will give us time to put our minds together and so that by evening today we will get back to them through the group SMS system. Do you expect maybe to resume learning in how long? Well, uh, I believe we have not put our minds together, but the rest of the school, none of the classes has been affected. So the rest of the school should come back to school tomorrow. That's from baby class to grade eight, to grade six. Uh, but I believe once we see the extent of the fire, we should, should be able to work on it maybe within a week or so. Uh, because in any case we were planning to proceed on half term from Thursday from you remember the government uh, asked people to go for half term from uh, Thursday all the way to Tuesday so we have about seven seven days to, to do whatever it is necessary in any case it has only affected one floor from what you can see but we don't know the damage Actually, my side, the total number of students while what about facility uh, maybe about uh, 1,400. So only 300 could be affected. We go to the headquarters, we go to Kagudo, we go to Kuja, we go to Pande, we go to the Mirango, we go to the Kasungu, 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 we go to the Kila room Okay. Okay. Uh. 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 Uh.